guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to have a play at a wonderful idea that I saw on Rhonda Winstead. I hope I'm saying that right. Rhonda Winstead's channel and I will link her below. Uh, she made these absolutely gorgeous, super simple um, little journal embellishments and she was making them from obviously book pages and washi tape. Now, I have to confess that I don't particularly have a big stash of washi tape. I, I don't really tend to use washi tape a great deal. Um, <laughs> and I feel like I have to say a quick, um, you know, please don't take that, that I never never use it because probably you know I will be using it in the next video but what I'm saying is she had some beautiful washi tape with lots of different individual images I don't really have anything like that but what I have done is I treated myself to these clear transparent um, parcel labels and I re I say treated myself because they were um, 20 pounds which I thought was pretty expensive but I bought the, you know, the branded ones, Avery. Um, I wanted them that were a matte finish and I wanted them that would hopefully be, you know, strong enough glue. I got them from Amazon. Um, yeah, so again, I mean, I am trying to work on my website and do like affiliate links so as you can just click straight onto things. Um, but I haven't, yeah, I haven't got around to doing that yet. So just if you're looking, these are the ones that I purchased. They're a pack of 25, so although they were quite expensive, you know, fingers crossed they're going to last me quite a long time, although I have got quite a few little ideas um, planned for using these, so they might not last as long as I thought. Now, what um, I thought we would do, first of all, is take one of the labels, <clears throat> which actually I might have a portion Yes, I have a portion of one of the labels. It is a full sheet label. I should just point this out. Um, I think they do sell them in other ways, but I, because I wanted, you know, versatility, I got these ones that are one label per sheet. So it's got no sectioned labels, if that makes sense. Um, so this is one that I've already been playing around with. So that's the only reason it's, oops, it's cut into these funny shapes. So all I'm going to do is take my stamps and some of my stays on and now straight away I could hear my jaw getting getting wedged there, not wanting to open. So again, not a great start to the uh, video. Right, here we go. So I've got my black stays on and I'm just going to stamp a few images onto the... Um, label. Oops. So I've got that gorgeous typewriter one. I have got these cute binoculars. I'm pretty sure that these were from some Tim Holtz. Um, just going to switch this around because I've got just tiny, tiny bits left here. I'm pretty sure that these binoculars were from some Tim Holtz stamps, which I don't know about you guys, but often when I really love a stamp, a clear stamp or you know one of the foam mounted ones I sometimes mount it onto the block um, you know some blocks from some old stamps that I no longer use because I find it quite handy to have my favorites just on a wooden block so I haven't you know I haven't done that with a ton of them but just a few and I mean obviously you know I haven't got a ton of uh, the the wooden blocks apart from anything else oops so that's just a few little stamps there just to get me started and then all that Rhonda did I mean obviously her washi was colored <clears throat> so you know I am just using my my black stays on here so hers obviously you know hers were colored images that she was using but I just thought we could just have a play and just see how we get on with these. So just cut around. Okay. Now, one other thing to just point out about this, because I mean, you probably know I love the torn edges. I have tried to tear these labels. They do not seem to want to tear. They're quite, um, what's the word? 
well, I mean robust, I guess, which is quite a good thing. They do not want to tear very easily. So, yeah, tearing they don't seem to want to, to do. So, if you are going to want to tear the labels, these might not be a great choice. So, that's my little stamped images. Now, I'm just going to take some book page here. And then all that Rhonda did was, you know, stuck her her washi down. Come on. Oh, come on. So as you can see, just peels off. I mean, it's a bit fiddly to peel off, but not, not too bad. And we just pop that down there. Like that. Now, these labels really are pretty good. I mean, I don't know about whether you can see, you know, how well you can see that, but it's it's pretty well covered there, I have to say. So, I mean, to the point, I might actually cut these a little bit closer now, because actually, I, you know, maybe I don't want quite so much label showing, so I'll just cut some so I've got big ones and some so I've got smaller ones. I mean, obviously, you know, these are new to me, so I couldn't tell you about their longevity, you know, how how great they're going to be at staying stuck down long term because obviously I've only just received them but I was excited to share them with you guys because um, I think they're just something quite fun to have a bit of a play with and you know it's nice to to find new products to uh, experiment with and play with isn't it and when I saw then Rhonda's video it just happened to coincide with I had ordered the label labels with something else in mind and then I saw her video and thought wow perfect timing because um it just looked absolutely perfect for using some of these now she did hers really quite you know skew if on the page and things so I might try and do some a little bit off center as well for a bit of fun And this one, oh, they seem to be a little bit easier at, um, oh, there's the word birds on that one, so I might try and pop that on there. Oops. Okay. Yeah, it seemed to be getting a little bit better at um, peeling these off. There's another, another birds word there, so we just... Pop that down so that that's visible. Right, so that's our pieces. Now, what she did was she then stamped over them with like some postmark stamps. And actually what she did use is she used the postcard stamp that I really quite frequently use. I might pull in my Crafty Individual stamp. So I'm just grabbing that from up to the side and stamp over, just lightly stamp across my my pieces. So I don't want to kind of press too, too hard on here. Oops. <clears throat> but just, just a bit. Like that. And then this binoculars, I might do this side for this one. There we go. <clears throat> so they look super cute so far. And then I'm going to just ink them up with my walnut stain. So let me just pop that to the side before I lose it. Okay. So just inking around there like that. Okay, so I mean obviously this is the first time I have tried to make these. Um you know, and lessons kind of being learnt. I possibly would maybe recommend stamping these or distressing them underneath the label. Um I don't know how that would affect the label sticking. 
So yeah, just have a bit of a play around and see, you know, what you can come up with. But just inking around there, like that, ink around this one. And then what she did as a sort of finishing touch, I guess, was she took her Sharpie, which I just, Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I just that second dug out and now I can't see it anywhere. And she drew around her washi tape. So I'm just taking my Sharpie and I'm just going to draw around my label piece. And I might just do that doubled like that. Only because obviously doing it double gives a bit more impact. It's weird because this is a black Sharpie, but compared to that black of the Saison, it looks a little bit tinged blue, weirdly enough. Well, not really blue, but not as black as the Saison. So I might just do that one with the butterfly. And obviously, I mean, you could stitch these if you didn't want to do them with a Sharpie. You could just stitch them. I might have mucked that one up a little bit. So then she just tore hers out. Now I think I've got two book pages here, so just separate them out. Just tear down and tear around that. Okay, so there's your little piece and if I just take this to um, ink it on without getting too much, you know, be really focusing on the edges there, just so it stands out really well. <clears throat> and then what she did, and obviously I'm not going to be able to do this because I don't have my sewing machine here, but what she did then was she put this like say on um, an index card and she did a five pointed star with her sewing machine. Pretty sure that I would not <laughs> be able to master doing a five pointed star. But, <coughs> excuse me, with my sewing machine anyway because um, yeah, that just sounds a little bit too adventurous for me. But I've got like a little window envelope here so what you could do, just, you know, I'm just kind of winging this now on the fly, but if I just ink this envelope up a little bit. Oops, look what I've been doing now. Dipping it onto the lid. Honestly, what is going on? It's because, and I know I have said this before, because I'm looking at other things, so as I'm trying to be ahead of what I need to do for the next part of the video, I'm not really watching necessarily where I'm dipping my my ink pad. Clearly, clearly I'm not. Um, yeah, so hence I was then dipping it into the lid. What is going on, honestly? I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do that in a video. Probably never will either. Right, <laughs> so where she had obviously stitched hers around with the um, the five-pointed star, I could just glue this on to the envelope and I just take maybe a little word that we did before. I'm trying to see whether I've got like a nature or something like that. Probably haven't to be honest, but I just dig out a few of those little word embellishments. Uh, oh well, perhaps we'll just have loving or something like that on there, shall we? Okay, 
Okay. So I'm just going to glue that down onto the envelope. I just thought these were such super quick and easy embellishment pieces and just genius to be honest and as I said it just coincided with me ordering that um, you know the label page that I had ordered with something else in mind and I thought well that just couldn't have been better timing to be honest so um, yeah just really quick and easy and such cute ideas so really gorgeous and then of course you could just um, decorate your envelope up so I might just take that postcard stamp again take my stays on I should really just leave the stays on now out of the box probably out of the drawer sorry um, let me just cover this so I don't stamp my piece but we could just stamp down like that okay just pop a bit down there I should have actually used the script stamp to be honest but I am doing this a little bit um you know unprepared so I didn't really think too much um so you could just have it like that and then you know you could just kind of decorate it up maybe with a little flower or something just having a look to see what else I've got laying about that I could just use I mean you could always just pop you know a real life postage stamp on there that's quite cool isn't it I might do that. Actually, I would prefer probably a different colour one. So I've still got these sat here from my 3 and 30. They're obviously just getting further and further buried on my desk. But let's just pick a slightly more neutrally, neutrally coloured one. You know, that will just blend in a bit better with the envelope. I don't know why, but I now have those um, thingamabobs in there. That one's a bit too blendy, it's not really standing out enough at all. Perhaps we'll go for that one. It's quite cool, isn't it? Just double check. Actually, I think we're going to go for this one. Yeah. So just pop those back in there. Yeah, so Rhonda, I mean, I don't know whether you're likely to stumble across this video, but if you do, thank you so much. What an absolutely awesome idea. I think these are just super cute. And again, they're another one of those types of things that you could just do in front of the TV. You know, they really don't take very long at all. And um, yeah, I think it just turn out really cute. So, um, you know, just ideal for decorating up. Either, you know, you could put them on tags, you could put them on envelopes like we're doing here. You could put them all over, to be honest. I can think of endless, endless ways that you could use them. And I'm just wondering whether I've got my postmark stamp handy. No, it doesn't look like I have. Um, oh, that's really annoying. Let me see whether I've got anything else buried there. No. Right. Okay, two seconds, guys, while I just grab my postmark stamp. If I can, if I can grab it easily. If it's obviously buried. No, no, it is because I've used it very recently, so I knew it was, or I, I hoped anyway, that it was still quite close to the front. So we're just going to just stamp across there. 
How cool does that look? Absolutely awesome. And then, I mean, again, I just happen to have this piece of lace just hanging around on my desk. So we could just pop, pop that down. <clears throat> Somewhere. Let's just have a look. We could pop it there. Got a little butterfly. Pop that there. Let's just ink up that piece of lace. Just ink up my butterfly a little bit. Yeah, I quite like that. So, oops, let me get my three and one. That's now just ugh, leaking out everywhere. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Sorry about this, guys, right? <laughs> Just pop this one down here. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do I get in such a mess with everything? Oh gosh. Literally stuck everywhere. Oh, right. Let's, let's get that lace down quickly before it's um, just stuck permanently on me instead of the envelope. Fly down there. There we go. So aren't they just the most cute things? I really, really love them and just think, wow, genius idea. They're so quick and so, oh my gosh, I literally have dipped my, my fingers straight into that glue now. This is not, look, not a great start. Sorry, guys. Right, get rid of that. That's just that backing off of the serviettes. And I thought, oh, I'll use that for mopping stuff up, but not not like that that didn't go quite to plan right so absolutely gorgeous aren't they I hope that you guys think that they're really cute we'll just do another one so perhaps we'll take the butterfly and obviously the butterfly is pretty tiny <clears throat> I mean, as I say, she did stitch hers with this really cool five-pointed star. So, I mean, definitely hers is, you know, was an awesome way to finish it off. Because it had, like, the five-pointed star on the back, but not so much on the front. It was on the front, but not, you know, not so visible. It looked really cool. But obviously, if you haven't, you know, got a sewing machine or anything, then these are just some other little ideas, really. So... I mean, here, I mean, to be honest, you could just have that on a page like that. It looks awesome. So I'm just going to glue that onto the doily. And, you know, this is just a scrap of doily that I just happen to have laying around on the desk. And to be fair, now just thinking, I have got over here one of our tags that we did in the mass making. So I'll just pop that one side just like that I'm just going to ink that tag up slightly like that okay oops oh I'm stuck on something else now. Look. Yep. Just stuck on other stuff. <sighs> oh my gosh. Now that's stuck on other stuff. Right. It's now peeling away from the doily. <laughs> Again, turning into another terrible disaster movie. Not, not disaster movie. Hopefully it's not uh, dragging on for that long. But terrible disaster zone anyway. So like here. I mean, I just happen to have this little flower laying around on the desk I've also got this one and they're quite cute aren't they actually might go for those let me just grab those in because I've got some more here so uh, if I just cut down a couple 
more flowers, I think. <clears throat> uh, yeah, if we just chop down that one and maybe one of these. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these are just like perfect little TV craft or, you know, something like that. They're, you know, silent. You don't need too many bits and pieces. You know, you could do all of your stamping, for instance, before you get down to the TV. And um, then you could just obviously do it, you know, quietly. Not disturbing anyone else whilst you're watching. And I, I love um, things like that, you know, little quick projects that you can achieve quite a few whilst you're just with the family. All right. Let me just trim that one. I mean, I'm feeling like I need to have something else along this side, but let's just have a look. Do you know what I might have? I might just pop a dictionary definition or um, a word or something there. So just, just have a look. <clears throat> I'll just pop that there. I'm pretty sure I've got some here. Well, we could have a label actually. That's quite nice, isn't it? We could have it like that. Oh, let's just do that. So, I mean, this is like a super, super plain tag for me. They they are not normally as plain as this, but, but it's quite pretty, isn't it? I'm just going to ink this up slightly. I'll just glue this one down. And then I'm just going to glue this doily piece down now. I have to use my three and one because uh, of those black marks that seem to happen when using the tacky glue lately. Oh, look, now it's, now it's running out. You know why? Because it's all obviously gushed out all over everything else. But now I have got a little bit left in there. I think I have got another one in the cupboard, so I will have a look in a moment. Well... Not in a moment, probably, but probably after the video. So we just pop this down here. Like that. Just mop that up a little bit with my baby wipe, my dried out baby wipe. So a bit less likely to stick onto that than I am with that um, back of the napkins. So I'm just going to pop this down here. I'm going to maybe tuck it under that flower a bit actually. Am I actually going to stick that whole label on there for once? I always end up chopping them, chopping them down, but perhaps I'll go for the whole label for once. So I'll just ink this little rosebud up. Just ink this one. And then where are we going to have this one? Perhaps I'll have that one there actually. And we'll have this one at the top. Or do we want it that way round? Mm, decisions, decisions. I could have that like tucked just behind there a little bit. Let's do it like that. That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So just pop that down. That's that one. Okay. And then this one. Okay, and 
then this one here, last one. There we go. Right, and then we can obviously pop, oops, pop a hole in that tag. <clears throat> Okay, whoops, let's just ink up the back. It's looking very... Right, I'm not going to ink up the... Well, I will do a little bit, but I could probably do with changing my sponge. So, uh, just ink it up a little bit. Only because otherwise I'll forget, you know, because obviously I'll finish the video and then I'll go off doing something else and uh, forget to ever actually ink the back, so I will do it now. And then I'm just going to take my little hole reinforcer, and that's all been inked up already. Pop that down, and then just ink that up a bit further, like that. And then just need to decide now what to have as my, um, you know, what do you call it? The the tab I might just have this really pretty pink soft net so <clears throat> it was just like laying around it's not the longest piece I have to say but hopefully it will be long enough so we'll just thread that through like that Okay, so that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so that's our two pieces using those little little um, pieces there. And obviously we've got a couple more that, you know, we can use. But they're really cute, aren't they? So I couldn't wait to sort of have a play with those when I saw Rhonda's video. So thank you so much, Rhonda, if you do stumble across this. I absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for sharing and um, have fun if you guys decide to make some. Thank you very much then. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.